You might have seen these in the store. They're Smithsonian Magic Rocks. But you've probably asked, how do I use these? Well, we're here to answer that. This is what comes in the package. We've got a couple of Magic Rocks. Sodium silicate solution, two bags of that and a tank for putting them in. However, there are a few things that don't come in the box that you need, such as 32 ounces of room temperature water, a large glass mixing jar, a thermometer, that's optional, some gloves, safety goggles, scissors, chopsticks or any other wooden mixing device, aluminum foil, a small piece, something to clean up spills, some wax paper for your surface, I've already got that, and something to pass the time. Pour the two packets of sodium silicate into a bowl, but it is bad for your eyes, your skin, and your furniture, so do be careful. Add the water to the sodium silicate and stir thoroughly. Since the sodium silicate is heavier than water, it will sink to the bottom, so please make sure to stir it a lot. Put a small strip of aluminum foil, and place it inside the aquarium. Prepare the rocks by snipping them. Once they're cut, split the rocks into two groups. Drop the rocks in, one group at least, and make sure that they don't touch the sides, otherwise you'll get a good glob of rock instead of a nice picture. And then add the solution. If any rocks are touching the edge, make sure to move them away. Lucky for you, we have a time-lapse camera, so you can see the action in high speed. It's time for the second batch of magic rocks. We're dropping in the, them in one by one while our time-lapse camera is still recording, so we are going to see what happens. <laughs> 